Hey everybody, Challenger Girl Vlogs here. I like my little, I don't know why I did that. But anyway, number one, yes, this is a weird thing on my face. That is a scab, everybody. A disgusting face scab. Just look at it. Ew, anything in my teeth? Oh, how girly of me. Anyway, that is on my face because I've mentioned in other videos I own a dog walking business and one of my client's dogs bit me in the face. Yes, she was acting all cute and snuggly and then decided, you know what? I'm gonna bite you in the face. So I have something that looks like a giant disgusting mole on my face right now. So yeah, and number two, yes, I'm wearing a bag on my head. Why? Because I re-greened my hair. I'm actually about to hop into the shower right now and wash that out. So we'll have to see how it looks like towards the end of this vlog. But anyway, I decided I'm going to show a little haul. I went to Victoria's Secret today. No, it's not thong. So get that dirty thought right out of your head right now. And I went to Sephora. I'm not a big makeup person, so I did not buy a bunch of makeup. You will see what I bought, but anyway, first things first, I'm gonna wash this out of my hair, and then we're gonna do the haul, so stay tuned. And just like a magic trick, I have magically changed in my pajamas, and my hair is washed clean and green. Look at that, guys. Just as green as it used to be, just the way I like it. I'm going to a big event in a few days, entering my car into a really seriously judged show and I gotta match my car again. Am I right or am I right? Okay, so let me show you what I got in the Victoria's Secret and the Sephora bag. Now I know all you dirty guys out there are just dying to know what is in here, but I'm going to show you because it's going to be a real bummer. It is fucking perfume. Look at that. Victoria's Secret Scandalous. I will show you the bottle. It is pretty cool looking, but this scent, I am very sensitive perf to uh, perfumes. Um, very like serious perfumes. I don't have many. I mostly just have body sprays. Um, but I was out there with a friend today and she was buying some stuff and I noticed these perfume samples and this one smells like a, like a vanilla caramelly scent. It's supposed to be um, raspberry liquor, black Pinot E, whatever that is, and praline, and I think I was saying, smelling, oh god, smelling the praline, which is kind of like a caramelized nut, but it smells very vanilla and sugary, and it's great. I'm not sensitive to it, sensitive to it at all, which is awesome. Awesome box, and let's get this out. It's like an unboxing video now, and I don't think I can get this out with one hand. Hold on. Here it is. Look at this crazy bottle. I mean. <laughs> I wasn't really going for a fancy bottle, but it's Victoria's Secret. What do you expect? So this is actually my first like perfume bottle with one of these little puffs on it. I'm not going to waste any of this because it was quite expensive. But anyway, you give this a squeeze and the perfume comes out of the hole right here. And you know, you put the amount of perfume you need on your body. But yeah, I'm very sensitive to perfumes, but this one smells amazing. And my nose was not sensitive to it, which was awesome. So yay for one of my very first serious perfumes that does not make me lightheaded. Okay, so on to this bag, the Sephora bag. Now I only got one makeup item. My friend needed to go to Sephora. And I'm going to show you the one makeup item I got. It is this bright green eyeliner. And the color is, let me see, colorful shadow and liner and it, it's basically like a sublime green I'm gonna call it sublime green because it is like the color of my car oh here we go it's number 37 fresh limeade oh my god so this is like the color of my challenger and the reason why I bought this I'm serious when I say I want to match up with my car so I think at this serious event I'm actually gonna put this eyeshadow on my eyelids to uh, really blend in with the car, you know? So it's basically a pencil. I'll work it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little crazy when it comes to looking, you know, green with my car. Gotta be well with the car. But anyway, the other things I got are these face masks. I love face masks. I mean, I don't know how well they work. I probably don't put it on enough to make them actually work. But yeah, these are these really creepy ones and I'm actually gonna try one tonight. Um, so it's like the kind where it's not like like a liquid but it's just like literally like this mask that you put right on your face so we've got um pomegranate face mask and this is a anti-fatigue and energizing mask and you know I do look a lot tired like a lot more tired than I used to be um, I definitely have bags under my eyes this is green tea mattifying whatever that is an anti-blemish and then I got two eyelid ones like eye under mask as you can see in the picture I do have a lot of lines and like dark circles under my eyes so I tried one anti-aging and smoothing so that might help with that and I also got a relaxing and refreshing green tea and this is orchid eye mask I think that's a flower 
because there's a picture of a flower here. And then I got for the anti-aging a overnight mask and we're gonna put that on tonight too. And it says, it's easy. In the evening, apply a fine layer evenly over clean, dry skin, the face and neck, but also around the eyes. Let it work overnight. If necessary, rinse off any excess in the morning. So I'm curious how this is going to work. I don't know if this is a one-time use or what. But um, let's see, it's enriched with orchard flower extract from natural origin. It reduces the appearance of wrinkles and signs of age, moisturizes and smoothens the skin for skin that is firmer and younger looking in the morning. Great, I mean, I'm only 24, but you know. Um, let's see, the green tea, they have the creepy, the instructions for the creepy mask here. The green tea mask enriched with natural green tea leaf extract absorbs excess sebum, <laughs> reduces the appearance of skin's imperfections, clean, purified, and mattified skin, whatever mattified means. And this one reduces signs of fatigue, awakens and tones the skin, energetic, fresh and radiant skin. Um, gives a cool, fresh sensation to the eye area, decrumples the skin around the eyes, which I need, and provides a smoothing effect for a fresh and wide awake look. All right, so let's try, um, which one should we try? Um, let's try this one. Yeah. I should decide to change it up. I'm going with this one because hello, I have a huge blemish on my face, like that bruise. So maybe it'll help with the bruising a little bit. I mean, bruising is broken blood vessels or whatever. So I don't know how much it might help, but if it can help just a little bit because I'm going to this event in a few days. So this one is meant for blemishes. So we're gonna try that one instead. Um, I previously just washed my face even though I just took a shower, but I did this too. I used some of the St. Ives, um, it's an apricot scrub. And I wanted just to really make sure my face was washed up first. I'm whispering because it is 12.30 at night and I don't want to wake up my parents. Yes, I still live at home with my parents. You know, I gotta save up my money first before I just move out to my little dream house in upstate. You know, that's right. Or like northern part of the county I live in. But anyway, so basically we need to unfold the mask and peel off the pink film, apply the mask to a previously washed face. That's done. Uh, leave for 15 minutes, gently massage to absorb any excess. No need to rinse. All right, let's do that. This thing is so slimy. Oh God. Um, so yeah, now we gotta take the pink part off, which I gotta do off camera because I need both hands, but it is super slimy. What the fuck? I look like I have a skin problem and I'm like just peeling. Um, there's a reason why like the mask isn't supposed to be like this far down, but I wanted to make sure it got over this bruise. So that's why I pulled it further down than it should. So I can't really talk. But anyway, I look really fucking creepy right now. I look like a killer. I'm going to kill you. Now I'm just fucking around with you guys. Okay. So 15 minutes and we're gonna fast forward 15 minutes right now. Now I look even creepier so the mask has dried. Now we peel off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now it says you rub it into your face. Make sure it's all rubbed in. My face sure looks shiny though. All right, I'm gonna probably put on that night mask. I guess I'll film doing that too when I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, so it's been like maybe 40 minutes since I've taken that mask off. It's nice, but it leaves this weird sticky residue and they say like, you don't need to wash it off, but it's like weird. So I'm not gonna wash it off. I'm gonna follow the instructions, but I'm about ready to go to bed. And I'm gonna put on the sleeping mask, the overnight sleeping mask first. So basically, let's see. You just put on a fine layer evenly over the skin. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. This is like gelatin. Oh my gosh. That is like gelatin. All right, I'll put some on on film here. Ew, interesting. Okay then. Does this like absorb or something? <laughs> All right. I really hope this is gonna start to dry because I have no idea how you're supposed to go to sleep without like getting this crap all over your pillow. It's like gooey goop. 
it, this is like reminding me of a face mask I used a few years ago where like it dries on your face and you like peel it off. It's like a cucumber face mask. It's very famous and well known. There's a lot of people on YouTube that have done videos about it. But like this is an overnight face mask and I guess it absorbs because it says in the morning if necessary wash the rest off. But yeah. So I'm about to go to bed here. This stuff has like barely dried much but in the instructions it said to put a fine layer on I might have put too much on but the reason why I did that is because the way the package is you can't like reseal it and get like two uses out of it and Sephora stuff is not cheap and I'm like I'm not gonna waste the product so like I like put it on my neck like they also suggested I mean not gonna waste the product but anyway We'll see how it is tomorrow morning. So we're gonna zoom like seven, eight hours and it's gonna be tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody, it is the next day. We have fast forward. So I'm pretty impressed actually with the face mask. Like, I don't know, my skin feels a little softer, but um, so the stickiness like went away by the morning, but like I just felt in like a few specific spots. I was still a little sticky, so I used some like, you know, facial cleanser or whatever. Um, and I washed it off and I noticed when I, not like wash it off, but I just did like a quick little wash on my face with it this morning. And I did notice that like, like you could feel like the face mask almost like reactivating the parts that dried and it was like really soft and like moisturizing for my face. But um, I think this is just naturally the bruise healing, but the bruise does just look a teensy weensy bit lighter. Um, but under my eyes, I noticed that they're not as dark, like they're still dark, but they're not as dark. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty impressed with these face masks. Now I'm going to try the under eye ones tonight. I'm not going to vlog about it, but maybe I'll mention it in a future vlog. Um, I'm not sure when that vlog would go up because I have vlogs, like I have a birthday vlog that was my birthday from like three weeks ago and I still have not uploaded it yet. And I need to put a little edit in that that was from three weeks ago. But anyway, yeah, so that was my little, I guess, haul testing of products vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have any females who watch this, which I doubt because a lot of males watch my channel. Oh, I wonder why. No, I know why. But um, anyway, to females who happen to be watching this because of unboxing reasons and Sephora and um, uh, Victoria's Secret and stuff, have you ever bought any of their products? Have you ever tried Sephora's face mask and the overnight mask and everything? Um, do you guys have like a trick so like you can utilize that overnight mask for two nights? Because I would love to use that for two nights because it's like they give too much product for just one freaking night and like you're supposed to put a fine layer on and like the way they package it it's like you cannot reuse it like i gotta think of some way maybe i could like tape it closed but the way the little peel thing is um it just tears but anyway leave a like leave a comment if you want to if you like the video obviously leave a like if you're interested to see more of my videos subscribe down below maybe once in a blue moon I could do videos like these but I don't really go to those stores very often okay guys thanks so much for watching another challenger girl vlogs um, secret comment code face mask okay guys bye thanks for watching